We are taking you all the way to Ladade Kutupong, where teenage pregnancy is on the extreme. And to help tackle these challenges, um, some health officers have asked parents to look out for family planning services to ensure that the challenges are taken away. So my colleague Gabriel Budatogwa Shong was there and he comes through with this report. Tens of young people coming right behind, walking through the Lao Township, sensitizing the residents about the need to consider family planning. A number of instructions you could see, one being life choices, it's your life, it's your choice. But come to think of it, here is another inscription that you can see, family planning week celebration. And another one saying that use the male and female condom to protect you against STIs and pregnancy. So these are what some of the placards are really saying, calling on the people of La to engage in family planning or to go in for family planning services. Yes. 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 So you come, 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 come. What the man is basically saying is that it appears you are calling on women to be deceiving them. He may end up marrying a woman that has gone in for family planning for about 10 years period, during which he wouldn't be able to conceive. So in effect, you are calling on the ladies to deceive them. What do you have to tell him? No, we are not deceiving them. What we are telling him is that you, we want you to separate your birth so that when you are ready for another child, you can give birth. But if you give birth and you can't cater for them, then it will become a problem for you. Do you get me? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. We have some for males, so when you come to us, we'll talk to you and then explain everything to you. So we'll be expecting you there. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, okay. What you are saying that you, somebody impregnated your daughter. So such a child, if you have a child who is where you see that she is bad, you bring her to the clinic, we'll talk to her and then any of the family planning clinic, any clinic close to you. When you come to us, we'll talk to you, then we'll explain the procedure, everything to her, and then we'll educate her sometimes so that she'll do the family planning and she'll be able to go to her school, finish her school, and then when she's ready for marriage, she'll come and then we'll take it out and then she'll give birth. Do you get it? So these are situations coming up randomly or spontaneously. We have Mr. Sean sharing his experience to us. And well, he's mentioning the full name, Lawrence Ashon. My name too is Ashon, if you care to know. Okay. So we are inviting you to get to know more about family planning and how best you can manage your family, the best intervals and all that, so you are able to cater for your children well and then make them grow to become responsible persons within our community. So come along as we get to know more about this uh, very issue. And when you look at our corporate, family planning is actually known in this our municipality. I am saying in Greater Accra in general, but we are talking about our district. It is known. So we want the public to know more about family planning. We already know the benefits. And because of some of the uh, side effects, some people do 
a detest people not to come. But there are various family planning clinics. We have a lot of devices, a lot of commodities that we provide. Number one, we have the short-term methods. We provide the condom, both male and female, that we'll be talking about here. The implants, we have the jadel and the implant all that are inserted into the inner aspect of the non-dominant arm for the woman in the fetal age, 15 to 49 years of age. We have the IUD, we have two types of IUD. We have the hormonal IUD and the copper IUD. We have the pill, we have the pill. The pill, we have two types, the one with estrogen combined and the one with progesterone only for the breastfeeding mothers and any other uh, 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 mother. We have a whole lot. We have the natural one that we call the standard dates beads. They are all available. It's like a lot of rumors are going on. The misconceptions are scaring them. The hearsays, and the CSC, ake, ake, whereby they are not right. They are not correct. They should come near us. They should enter the hospital. They should go to the health facilities so that they get to the nurses, the family planning service providers, and they will be explained to whatever problem they have. I can see a sign of a penis. Yes. And then, can you briefly explain to us what is happening here? So this is a uh, male sterilization. This is male sterilization. And uh, you know the sperm is producing them. Here, let me just point. Maybe when I mention the names, I may confuse somebody. Produce and store here. You can see them going. So during sexual intercourse, it comes down, passes through the vast different. There are two. This is one in each testicle. It passes up. You can see it coming up this way through the vast difference. This is the seminal vesicle that produces that whitish fluid. And the prostate gland that pro also produces the semen. So it passes through. And it is nature's own way of feeding the sperm to swim more into the woman, okay. into the vagina. So it passes this way into the sure. But during vasectomy, it's a minor procedure. That's anesthesia. An injection is given to prevent pain. And just under the, or on top of the, the scrotum, and under the, just immediately under the sperm. So, and, uh, the, sorry, the penis. So the anesthesia is given and the vast difference is located, removed, just a tiny opening with a special instrument. So the vast difference, they are called vasa. They, when they are two, they are vasa differential. But one vast different, located, tied, and cut. Okay. To prevent the, sper the, uh, the sperm from coming up. But during sexual intercourse, the sperm will come because, oh, uh, sorry, the, the, the white, the seminal fluid, the whitish fluid will come from the seminal uh, vesicle and the prostate gland in, into the woman. So that feeling, the orgasm that men normally have will still be there. It will be there more than the first time even. It, is, it will be there more than the first time. So they should not be scared, they should not be afraid, they should come. We will explain to them, we will talk to them more about it. They should, have, they should ask all the questions that they have so that we will brief them and those who don't want to make more babies. But for men watching, this procedure I want to believe is permanent. It is this, permanent. This really then pushes them away from coming to go. Yes, their fear is the, the, the direction they they, they will not lose their erection. The erection will even be more than the first one. Because at the back of your mind, you know that no, there is nothing in my semen. The whitish fluid that is coming out will not, there is nothing to impregnate your wife. So you have peace of mind and enjoy the sex in your marriage. All right, all right. Thank you very much. And a lot of people also think that when we say family plan, it's like don't have, don't give birth. That is not it. We are saying space them, space the birth, have the children. When you are ready, it should be choice. See, and then again, uh, 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 people who can't have children, uh, they will be investigated and treated, and they also have children. Oh, okay. So family planning is not only not having children. Uh, it is facing have the children when you are ready. Uh, it is by chance. It shouldn't by, be by chance, but by, by choice. Uh, okay. And then also, those who are not fertile, will be uh, investigated, treated, and they also have their children. Family planning is not that expensive. The five cities, 20 cities, tax be highly subsidized. Otherwise, they would have paid more. Okay. But it's highly subsidized. So we have 50 persons. Uh, the condoms are uh, 
50 pesos, depot, five cities, continue. Okay, it's like the Depends family the planning family. commodities have been highly subsidized. As my boss has already said, they should just come to the clinics. It will not, the, the cost will not be more than them. People come, sister, I don't have money, we provide the service. Okay. We give them. We give them whatever service you feel. They should not be afraid of the cost. They should come. Okay. Mm -hmm. They should come. And I want to add to what my boss has said. At the family planning clinic, we have those, we have, we see the delayers. Delayers are people who have just gotten married and they don't want to start making their babies. They want to wait for a period of time before they start. We see them. We give them the short, the long. We don't decide for them. They decide for what to do. Ours is to provide the information. Then they will make an informed choice. Okay. Then we go. if you are eligible, then we provide the, the, the services. All right. We don't have a lab that we send you, but we have a series of questions that we, we, we go through with you. When you qualify, then we okay. provide it. After the delays, we have those who are spacing. They have started making their families, but they want a certain number of uh, uh, months, years be between their babies. They are the spaces. And okay. we have the, those who are the, uh, the what? Limiters. Okay. Limiters, they have finished making their babies and they want to just enjoy life, not to make babies again. So we have spaces, delays, and limiters at the family planning. Thank you very much. We most appreciate So you've heard from experts explaining the issues to you as you ought to know with regards to family planning. Keep following as we bring you more. But until then, Gabriel Obodai Togba Ashon reporting.